up YouTube, back in the garage. I am officially in my new garage space. Got all my stuff new moved in. As you saw in the last episode, I've been spending a little bit of time organizing, um, getting the toolbox set up. So as you can see, uh, got some of my tools in here and starting to get a nice setup. Uh, that way I can start working on these projects. So that's all I care about doing. And now I got some tools organized. Um, I could spend time and get all this stuff organized, but I figured I'm gonna save that for a later video. And I'm gonna actually start working on the 1ZZ engine that we got right here. So as you guys maybe remember, that 1ZZ engine came out of the Celica. Uh, it's a 2001 Celica GT. I bought it, the engine was not running. I actually tried to replace the timing chain uh, to see if that was the issue because it was out of time and had no compression. Um, still had no compression so i think the head is shot the valves are shot um, but i do have plans for the engine um, take your guesses at what those are so in this video we're taking the 1zz engine and we're actually going to tear it down see what's wrong with it see what we need to order to get this thing back up and running All right, guys, I was able to get all the timing components off. I was able to get the cams out. So this thing's uh, pretty stripped down, ready to take the head off. So um, unfortunately, I got to stop tonight. Um, I was just here for a little bit organizing some stuff and I wanted to start that. But I am going to call it for tonight and pick this up another day. I do have a special guest here, <laughs> whether this makes it into the video or not. But my lovely wife, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Tell me what you think of the garage. Quite the upgrade. Quite the upgrade. It's definitely fun, isn't it? It's fancy. Fancy. She's excited. She's just as excited as I am. She She's telling me I can't fit three cars in here, but I think I can. You can, but it'll be tight. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm back. A um, couple days later. I did have to get some tools. Wouldn't have been able to take the head off without this guy here. So um, I'm gonna keep moving, keep taking this thing apart, and we're gonna strip it down to a bare block. Ugh. So just based on a quick initial inspection, it does appear that each of these pistons hit the valves. You can see the two little marks there on this exhaust side, these two little marks on this side. So the valves definitely hit on all four cylinders, which proves the theory that this thing jumped time, hit the valves, and then once I put it back in time, it didn't have compression. So um, it's an interference engine. Um, so that makes sense. And that matches up with what I expected to see. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing torn down the rest of the way. All right guys, so I was able to get the um, little like skirt, I guess, where the main bearing uh, caps are built into. Um, I was able to get that off and the good news is um, the crankshaft so far is looking very good. So um, that's all good news because I really wasn't wanting to buy a crankshaft. So also the bearings themselves uh, look pretty good. There's just a few little markings on them. All right, so the crankshaft is out. Again, crankshaft is looking really good all around. Um, I was able to get a closer look at some of these bearings. Uh, there are some indications of, you know, wear and um, 
uh, definitely definitely will replace all those bearings um, and do a full full rebuild on this thing. So uh, let's just get these pistons out and see what we're working with. All right, guys, so pistons are out. Got them laying here, took a good look at them, and I was right. The bearings do all need to be replaced, which is, you know, while I'm in here doing it, it just makes sense. The cylinders are actually looking half decent, so I think I'll probably uh, try to just clean them up with a ball hone, um, but they really do look pretty good. All the cross hatching is still there and very minimal, like... You can see a few little vertical lines there, but nothing that's really worrying me. So I think um, I think that'll be easy enough to clean up. Um, so next steps. Uh, now that I know what I need, I'm going to get some stuff ordered. So I'll get main bearings, rod bearings. Um, I'm going to check out these pistons and see if they have the extra oil holes for the 2003 plus model 1ZZs. If they do, I might try to clean them up and reuse them. If they don't, I actually have an old 1ZZ that I turned into a coffee table, um, but the pistons are still with it. So that one is definitely a 2003 and up. So um, I may use those. And if not, I'll just order a set. Um, but I'm going to try to keep this as budget friendly as possible. But I do want the 03 plus pistons in. I'm going to order a new ring set. I already have a head uh, that should be good from a Celica. I haven't moved that from the old garage yet, but I do have one. I'll get a head gasket. I'll get valve cover gasket, uh, crankshaft seals, timing cover seal. I need to get water pump, alternator, starter, um, everything to get this thing not only running, but also looking pretty. So that is the next step. Time to go spend some money, and I'll see you guys in the next one.